welcome back to the Swift Channel. We're Steve and Lindsay Radford from the Roman Radfords and we're here to tell you a little bit about how we're going to prepare our van for the winter. We usually use our van over the winter but we don't have any plans to use it for the next few months so let's just run through some of the things that we're doing to winterize our van. When we get back from any trip the first thing I do is empty the dirty clothes out of here and then that gives me space to clean up. So I start off in the kitchen and then do the bathroom. While I'm inside doing that... And I'm outside giving the motorhome a good clean before we put it away for the winter. Don't forget to wind out the awning and give that a clean too. There's often a build up of leaves just here below the windscreen, so check that and remove any leaves from this area. Our motorhome's parked on our drive, so we usually leave it plugged in the electric. We leave our heating on very low to prevent frost, so where possible, if you can, just leave your heating on maybe five or six degrees. We like to leave a small dehumidifier in the van to just soak up any moisture that's in here. We're also going to remove all perishable food and leave the cupboards open so we can get an air flow going through. I'll empty then clean the fridge and the freezer and leave the doors just propped open a little bit again to get the air circulating through so it doesn't go mouldy. Fridge covers guys, you're going to want to put your winter fridge covers on. There's a couple of clips, you knock these up, this comes off like this, it's easy enough. You're going to pop in your winter cover like that and then put your vents back on, clip them in place and you're ready to roll for the winter. But don't forget to do both vents. I've already stripped the beds, it's in the house being washed and when it comes back I'm going to put it in a vacuum sealable bag which means it's going to be airtight and that will protect it over the winter. Air circulation is so important to protect your van during the winter. So I'm going to move all the cushions away from the wall just to keep that air flowing through. If you've got a drop down bed we recommend leaving it lowered to let the air circulate through. Another tip we've recently received is to leave the ladder underneath the mattress because that will help with air circulation too. You're going to want to empty the boiler of water so flick this little switch like that and you'll drain all the water from the boiler. You're going to want to open your taps and drain them of any water to stop any freezing water expanding in the pipes and don't forget to do that in the bathroom and in the shower as well. You're going to want to empty your toilet cassette Make sure there's got no water in it. And if you've got a, a pink flush as well, empty that too. Do not drain down your Audi central heating system. If you have Audi central heating, leave the water in there. You're gonna need that for the radiators. So as I mentioned earlier, we are plugged in the electric whilst at home, so we're fine. But make sure you're either plugged in the electric or maybe you have a sufficient solar on the roof to keep your battery levels topped up. Otherwise, consider removing your batteries and storing them for the winter. Before you leave your van for the winter, you want to make sure all your windows, roof lights and doors are fully secured and fully closed. If you have a windscreen protector for the front, put that on because that's going to keep it insulated as well. Consider disconnecting your gas bottles and isolating them from the van. Also, if you have the red gas bottles, they're better for going down to a colder temperature. When it's parked up, you want to make sure your wheels are straight, not to put any pressure on the system. And security. When it's parked up, we like to have a disc lock, what we put onto our steering wheel, and that gives us peace of mind when we're away from the van, but also there's things like a handbrake lock or locks for your pedals. I've even seen on some groups people talking about spinning the seat around and locking that into position. So consider security. So we've taken you through some of the things that we do to our van to make sure that it's fully prepared for winter. You may disagree or you may have some extra comments and suggestions. Leave them in the comments below and we can all learn from each other. And if you like the video, give it a big fat thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Swift's channel for more videos like this.